Welcome everyone, this is Jeff Walker. I'm with Dr. Roy Sugarman, who is our keynote speaker for the 9th Annual Soft Tissue Therapy Conference here in Sydney on the 7th and 8th of November. Welcome Roy, it's good to speak with you again. Great to see you again, Jeff. Yes. I can see you. <laughs> ah, good, good. We've had some inquiries about the information that you're going to be presenting. People are intrigued as to what will a psychologist be able to tell us as massage therapists and soft tissue therapists about what you do. Can you just let us know what we'll take away from the workshops and the, the, the keynote presentation that you're going to present to us on the 7th and 8th of November? Well, the, the, there are two parts to this, I guess. The first part of it is, is, is in the keynote side to really show people how we process information, especially information that could be conceived as threatening in those first few hundred milliseconds. And that will often stop people relaxing under massage and severely affect the way that they respond to pain. We always used to think of pain as, as this non-conscious processing that just went from the pain organ, you know, the painful bit, all the way up to the brain, which then recognized the pain and said, oh my God, there's pain. And then that's how we thought about it. But the new information coming out combined with our knowledge of how we process in, in non-conscious ways and especially how we process negative, you know, susceptive information has been really revolutionary in the last few years. So I want to get everyone up to speed on, on the two aspects. Number one, the processing of the information and number two, what that means for pain. Um, and in the workshop side, especially to begin to introduce people to how we use neuroplasticity to begin to deal with central pain syndromes. And as we know, central pain is a huge issue because it's very difficult to treat with hands-on and it's equally difficult to treat with medication, both for reasons of resilience and also, um, second of all, because people just don't tolerate the drug anyway. The idea was, is that we know from neuroscience that uh, neurons that fire together wire together, but what happens if we get neurons to unwire by not firing together? In other words, how do we take the pain that was um, set up in response to the brain and how do we then unwire those neurons and use them for something else and thus lower the pain. And there's wonderful stuff coming out of the United States and out of the literature. So that would cover the two things. Number one, non-conscious biases. And number two, how we can treat pain by hijacking other neurons and by tug of war and getting back the neurons that have been assigned to those pain processes. Okay, fantastic. fantastic. I'll just let everyone know the way that I got interested in the work you did was a quote that you put on Facebook and the quote said, the single biggest problem in communication is the illusion that it has actually taken place. <laughs> That's right, That's, uh, Bertrand Russell or George Bernard Shaw, one of those, yeah. Yes, that intrigued from the get-go and exactly as you were just saying then, there's subconscious or things that we're not aware of, things that we might be doing as therapists that are impeding the, the process of someone or getting better. Certainly, and in the process of massage, there is a unique opportunity for people in pain to begin to move the neurons away from the painful perception to more positive perceptions. And that would be a great place to do it because you can only really train yourself while you're in pain. So there's a unique opportunity, I think, for people who do the hands-on work to begin to use the work of neuroplasticity. Okay, that's fantastic. Well, like I said, I didn't want to keep you too long today. Um, your, pre your keynote presentation is at 9 o'clock on the... Saturday the 7th of November and then we have a practical session with you at 11.30 where we'll have a much better understanding of pain uh, after that so we're really looking forward to that. If, and if you're very interested in pain and pain management uh, I highly recommend that you come along and see Dr. Roy Sugarman at the soft tissue therapy conference.com.au on the 7th of 8th of November. If you need CEU points it'll be a great way to get them and you'll be well ahead of the pack. Another person's asked too, Roy, will you have books there? So we know that you're the author of two magnificent books. Will they both be available on the day? I'm expecting so. Uh, yes, we can arrange that. <laughs> right, fantastic. But we'll actually have a few copies of those books too to give away for prizes for people who answer questions correctly. There'll be other prizes as well from, but uh, for the most part you need to get to the softtissuetherapyconference.com.au website and register now and we'll look forward to seeing you all there and look forward very much to seeing uh, what you present to us Roy and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you then. Right, wonderful. Thanks Jeff. Thank you.